trainers are made in a place like this. A trainer factory. Trainers can be made from lots of different materials, like this shiny cloth called nylon, and this rougher material that's made out of cotton called canvas. And trainers come in lots of different colours. What colour trainers shall we make today? I like orange and red. First, the material is taken to the cutter press, where it can be cut to the right shapes. So Jen uses these cutters. They work just like cookie cutters. They're laid down in the correct spot and then pushed down by the head press to cut the shapes we need. Look how many shapes there are. But it doesn't look much like a pair of trainers, does it? I think this looks more like a beard. And this? Looks like a moustache. <laughs> but that's because they all need to be sewn together. Linda uses a sewing machine to sew together the parts of the shoe that make the shoe upper. That's the bit that goes over the top of your foot. Linda's using this blue machine called an eye litter. It makes holes in the shoe uppers for the laces. Works just like a hole punch, only it's much quicker. Oh, <laughs> it's noisy, isn't it? Look, here are the holes for the laces. So next, the laces are threaded through the holes so they'll fit nice and tight. I'm going to have a practice at tying these laces. You want to practice with me. First of all, you make a knot. And then you use one lace to make a loop, take the other and loop it round, tuck it through the hole and pull. Like that. Now it's time to give the trainers their correct shape. First, they're put into a machine called the back part moulder. Can you guess what part of the trainer it shapes? That's right, it's the back part of the trainer where your heel goes. Next, they're put onto wooden moulds called lasts. They look just like real feet and will give the trainers the correct shape. Stefan fits the trainers onto the lasts, then puts them through three machines. One to shape the toe end, the next to shape the side. And finally, through the seat and side lasts which stretches and attaches the material onto the inner sole underneath. That was amazing! But it was quite tricky to see from here, so I'm going to use my special camera on a long pole so we can see what it looks like from above. What an incredible machine. It looks like a robot insect with its pincers and claws folding the shoe together. All the rough bits of the shoe are then sanded off to make it nice and smooth. The underneath of the trainer is coated in a strong glue, which is then put through a heater to make it even stickier. Trainers are nearly ready, but to make sure they're comfortable to walk and run in, we have to stick the soles on. The soles are then pressed into place in this machine. And there we have a finished pair of bright, colourful trainers. All that's left to do is try them on. They fit perfectly.